Okay, here's my trailer project. Uh, I was out here looking at this thing. These are 21 inch wheels. And they're kind of rotted out. It's, it's funny because if you were using this round on the farm, you could probably run them because they're old hard rubber. But I don't think I'd want to take it on the road with these. You can see they're pretty, well that one over there just about rotted off the rim. Somebody ran a piece of wire around it to hold the tire on it. I thought that's kind of interesting. But I was looking at this bolt pattern thinking, well that's probably a standard old wide wide lug Ford bolt pattern and I bet the uh, 35 Ford wheels I got in yonder would fit right on these and I've got a set of uh, motorcycle tires that were on the rat rod when I bought it up here that'll fit on them see the wheels are just like these wheels and I've got these uh, motorcycle tires up here that would go on it which would allow me to put them on there and put my other green rims on there on that trailer and then I wouldn't have to buy new 21 inch tires for that trailer because I mean it kind of defeats the purpose if you're trying to build a low buck rat rod trailer and you have to go out and buy new tires it kind of takes all the fun out of it. Um, I've been looking at this trailer it's set up absolutely in the old style it's actually set up to be flipped upside down with a trailer bed and that's why it's got these little pieces of metal hanging down under here which I'm going to cut them off because if I build a trailer I'm going to build it lower to the ground to kind of go along with the car which is lower to the ground doesn't make sense to me to have a great big high trailer and in my mind I was visualizing a mountain of spring and a set of shocks on that and putting a trailer bed up on top of it and really doing it right and then, and then I was also thinking well you know in some ways there's some cool factor here in the old in kind of utilizing the old setup so Although the old setup wouldn't have springs, it would just be bouncing down the road on the tires, but I've seen a lot of trailers that do that. So, I don't know, I hadn't decided yet, but uh, I'm going to mess around with it some. I might see if I can slip one of those 35 Ford rims on there, that would tell me a good bit. I, I was also a little curious what these rims would look like on the front of the hot rod, but I don't know if they would fit on here or not. They might. That might be interesting just to see what it looked like too. So, I don't know, we have some possibilities to play with here. Alrighty, this is totally lovely. Yep, it fits. Uh, I'm also thinking, I bet that would fit on the front of the rat rod because the rat rod has uh, GM style front disc brakes with adapters on it. And I don't think there's a center sticking out in the middle of the wheel. You see those have those small centers that would go right around this hub. But I don't think it would make any difference if I, if I had me some if I could restore those wheels, give me some 21 inch rubber, I bet I could put them on the front of the rat rod. 